So we're going to be addressing individual style. So right now we've designed themes to our web pages, which allows us to have sort of a continuous theme, a default continuous theme throughout all of our pages. So we've separated them all into sections. We've used dividers. Um, and now we're going to stylize individual elements of our website, including uh, pieces of uh, text through our paragraph tags and even individual pages so each of them has their own unique style without having to create a completely new style sheet. So first thing it wants us to do is go to index HTML and pick a paragraph element that we want to put more emphasis on and give it this cool text ID tag. So I have a quote to start off my website. It's a good way of hooking in your viewers and I want to create a, a specialized rule for just this particular piece of text. Now, um, I'll find it first on my uh, index.html page. It's on line 24. And I'm going to switch that paragraph, that original paragraph tag, with this one here that says Michael Text. So I'm going to highlight it and go Copy or Control C. And I'm going to select just the first tag and I'm going to paste over it just like that, which means that out of all of my paragraph elements, this one specifically has the ID tag, my cool text. The next part is it wants us to take this CSS rule, highlight it and place it into our CSS style sheet. So I'll go to that now. I'll find a space in my style sheet, hitting enter a couple of times, and I'll go right click, paste, or control V. Now, what we can see happens is it's changed the rule just for the one that's labeled my cool text, my quote, um, which is great. It hasn't affected all my other paragraphs, and it has put greater emphasis on this particular line. Now I'm going to alter it so it's a bit more visual. So I'm going to find this purple tag here, which is under my heading tag. I'm going to highlight the hexadecimal code, control C. I'm going to paste that in replace of both hexadecimal codes, just so I have it a little bit more in line with my theme, just like that. And we can actually see it has put a greater emphasis on it. Now, the second part of the page is we can actually do the same thing with our bodies of our pages. So very similar, we're going to uh, select it with a hashtag in front of it. Uh, it's used to apply CSS rules to one specific element of our website. So we've just done that. Let's do it for the body. So we're going to go to a, our landing page or our home page or index.html. We're going to create an ID tag to the body tag. So going to go to my index. So I want my first page to be different and distinct from all my other pages. So I'm going to find the body tag, which for me is on line eight, and I'm going to change it to body ID equals front page. Now this allows me to style this page without affecting the CSS rules. It will only style this page without creating another CSS sheet. So very similar, we're now going to go into our style sheet again and we're going to now say, well, front page is going to have a background of this hexadecimal code and a linear gradient of this hexadecimal code. It should give us a rainbow effect. So we'll paste that in, control C, control V. And we'll see that it only changes my first page. So it now has that pastel gradient. But if I go over to podcasting equipment, types of podcasts, or recommended podcasts, they all have the standard CSS body rule. I can rinse and repeat this for each of my pages and give them distinct characteristics without having to create a completely new CSS sheet. So this is how we create individual styles. We can also do it with anything. So if we give another element an ID tag, we can actually change the way a specific picture looks. So say if I want to make my first page here circular rather than its standard rectangle shape. Well, I only have to find that image 
So let's have a look. I'll have a look. It's this one right here. I'm now going to add an ID tag to it. So I have to find the specific tag. So we've got image source, image ID. And if you need to, you can just do, have a look here at the hint. So it tells us to put in an ID value. So between all, between source and alt, we're going to do ID equals in quotations, landing space. And now it knows when I go to the style sheet, I'm going to then change it. I can select this code right here. And I'm going to change border radius. So I'll go to my style sheet, hit enter a couple of times, hashtag landing pick, R bracket open, enter, and I'm going to do border radius colon space 100%. I will double check if I've done everything correctly. I've put the percentage on the wrong way. So I'll fix that up. And sure enough, it's created a oval like shape around my border. I think that's quite aggressive. I'm going to drop that to 70. See what it does. Keep it at 100. And sure enough, that's all I have to do. But it's only styled that particular image because that image has been given the ID tag landing pick. So this is how we do individual styles on things such as our paragraph tags, the backgrounds of our specific pages, and uh, even specific images, which is what which is amazing to see.